Yes, welcome. Today we'll be tackling MFT. I'll begin with the first topic in computing, which is atomic structure and the periodic table. For today, we'll be only handling atomic structure. We start with the definition of atomic structure, where we define the atom cell. We define what is an atom, where we say that atom is the smallest particle of an element that can take part in a chemical reaction. Atom is the smallest part of an element that can take part in a chemical reaction. So this restricts us that uh, only atoms will take part only in a chemical reaction, not other reactions. So with the atom, which is made up of some parts, is made up of some, some other particles, which are the subatom sub atomic particles, which are three. The first subatom sub atomic particle, we call it proton. Then the second one, we have neutron. Then the last, which is the third one, we call it electron. Just the way we, we describe what is an atom, we are also going to describe the proton, neutron, and electron. Let's begin with the proton. Let's begin with the proton. Being part of the atomic structure. So, we describe what is an atom and its characteristics. So, the first characteristic of an atom is that it is positively charged. Whenever we indicate an atom, we indicate it with a positive charge. So, an so let's discuss about protons being subparticles of atoms. So, atoms, they have their characteristics. Characteristic number one of protons is that they are positively charged. They are positively charged. So, we will indicate this proton with a positive charge. That's the characteristic number one. Characteristic number two, where they are found? They are found in the center, in the center of an atom. So they they will be located in the center of an atom. Those are protons. Then they have a relative mass of one. They have relative mass of one. Then characteristic number four is the, that the number of protons in an atom of an element is its atomic number. As we continue, we'll come to, to describe what is this atomic number. So the number of atoms, the number of protons in an atom, number of protons in an atom, we, will co we call it atomic number. Number of protons in an atom, we call it, we refer to it, as atomic number. The number of protons will tell us which number the element is falling in. We have different number of have different number of atoms. You have elements that have different numbers. So atoms, uh, protons will help us to, to characterize or to number the atom. Then the, the next subatomic particle that we are tackling is the neutron. The neutron. The neutron. Same as we have given the characteristics of proton, we also have characteristics of neutron. We 
also have a characteristic of neutrons. As we say that protons, they are positively charged. With neutrons, they are neither positively or negatively charged. So they are neutrons. They are neutrons. Neutrons are neutrons. They lack charge. They have no charge. Then, characteristic number two, characteristic number two of this neutron, keep in mind that like the protons, they are found in the center. They are found in the center. So, neutrons are located in the same place with the protons. So, they are also in the center of an atom. They are also found in the center of an atom. So, as we had said earlier, that also protons are in the center, same also to neutrons. Then, characteristic number three, it also has a relative mass of one. Neutrons also have relative mass of one. Just the same as, just the same as the protons, either relative have, have relative mass of one. Then, characteristic number four of these neutrons, the number of protons and neutrons in, the, in an atom of an element is its mass number. As we had here said earlier that protons is the atomic number, but when we combine neutrons and protons, we have mass number. So neutron, number of neutrons and protons give mass number of an atom of an atom so those are the characteristics of neutrons they are neutral meaning they are neither positively or negatively charged then they are found in the center of an atom then they have a relative mass of one and when neutrons and protons number of neutrons and protons are summed together they give the mass number of an atom they give mass number of an atom. Then the third subatomic particle that we we'll discuss is the electron. The third subatomic particle that we we'll discuss is the electron. 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 So this is something about electron. As we had said earlier that protons are positively charged, neutrons are neutral, then what about this electron? Electrons are negatively charged. They are negatively charged. Negatively charged. That's the first characteristic of this electron. Then number two, as we had said earlier, the protons and neutrons are found in the center of the atom. What about these electrons? Electrons are found in the fixed region surrounding the center of an atom called the energy levels or orbitals. So at the center we have the protons and neutrons, but now around the center, the remaining part is covered by the electron. So they are found in the main part of the atom, where the center is covered by the protons and the neutrons. The remaining part, the energy levels, or we call it orbital, now surrounding the center is covered by the electron. So it's found in the fixed region surrounding the center. It's found in the fixed surround region surrounding the center. Fixed region surrounding the center. That's where they are located. So, characteristic number two is that they are fixed in the region surrounding the center. Then what about number three? Characteristic number three for this electron. Whereas we say that protons and neutrons, they all have relative mass. They have same relative mass. Protons have one, neutrons also have one relative mass. For this 
electron they have relative mass or relative mass relative mass of 1 over 1840 so this is the relative mass of this electron then character number 4 characteristic number 4 electron is 1 over 1840 then character number 4 the number of protons and electrons in an atom of an element is always equal the number of electrons electrons and protons in an atom electrons and protons in an atom are always equal in number are always equal equal in number so whenever you draw the structure of an atom you will include these protons neutrons and electrons and you have to keep in mind that they all have different characteristics for the protons we say that it is positively charged then it is found in the center of the atom then it has a relative mass of one and the number of protons in an atom is what we call as an atomic number for the neutrons they are neither positive nor negative so we term them to be neutral electrically neutral then they are also found in the center the same as protons then they have relative mass of one and number of protons together with the number of protons number of neutrons together with the number of protons protons and neutrons together when we sum them we have the mass number then for the case of electrons we say that they are negatively charged they are found in the fixed region surrounding the center they have relative mass of 1 over 1840 then when they are their number the number of electrons and the protons in an atom are always equal so those are the characteristics of the three subatomic particles. Those are the characteristics that we discuss. Then we have to have a diagram. Now, after knowing where they are found, after knowing their characteristics, now we have to draw. We have to draw to indicate where, where they are found. Where they are found in this anatomy. When we draw the structure of an atom, we have to include structure of an atom. We have to include these um, atomic particles. Structure of an atom. Structure of an atom. We have to include the three subatomic particles. Now we draw the structure of an atom as you can say that protons and the neutrons are found at the center they are found at the center so at the center here we have the protons and neutrons now the way we indicate them we say that protons are always positively charged positively charged so the positive charge will indicate the number of protons will get the number of protons the positive charge will get the number of protons we we'll have those are protons with the positive charge then we we'll get the neutron with no charge We'll get the neutrons with no charge. So these 
lot of. Then this one will be neutral. Because they are found at the center. Because they are found at the center. Then, protons together with the neutrons, they are at the center. Then the center is collectively, it has a collective name for these two that they are found at the center. Now this center, will call it nucleus. The center will call it nucleus. So we can, we can say that the protons and the neutrons, they are found in the nucleus of the atom. Then, the other surrounding region now, that's surrounding the center, it is covered by the what? By the electron. It is covered by the electron. We said we, the, they are negatively charged, so we indicate them with a negative charge around the center. It is surrounding the center. It is surrounding the center. We will have it as electron. Those are now the electron. Electron having negative charge, proton having the positive charge, then neutron lacking charge, they are neutral. Then the neutron and the proton together, they are found in the nucleus, which is the center of the atom, which is the center of the atom, which is the center of the atom. Now, when we, when we do the structure of any given atom, of any given, of any given, of any given atom, we'll have to know which atom are we drawing the structure. Then you have to indicate, you have to know that the number of electrons and the number of neutrons, or of protons, they are all equal. And they have charge that goes with them. Neutrons, neutrons have no charge, protons have positive charge, then electrons, have a negative charge. Let's go further and draw the structure of a carbon atom. Now the structure of carbon atom, then we indicate, we indicate the entire, the, the entire subatomic particle. We draw the structure, we draw the structure of carbon atom. structure of carbon atom. Now we have to know that carbon we indicate the number of protons, number of neutrons together with the electron. Carbon atom we say that the number of protons is the atomic number. Carbon atom is atomic number C. Atomic number six. Meaning that the number of protons will be six. The number of electrons, because electron and the new and the electrons and the protons are equal, they will also be six. Now, the atomic number will help us to know the number of protons. Number six. Then, the mass number of this carbon, carbon has mass number, which is the sum of protons and neutrons. Sum of protons and neutrons, the mass number is, also is 12. Now, because protons are six, neutrons will be six. So the atomic number of carbon is 6, which is the same as the number of protons, where the number of protons are equal to the number of electrons. Then, carbon atom has mass number of 12, mass number of 12. This tells us that the, the summation of protons and neutrons in carbon, they are 12. Because you have protons being, being 6, 
when we subtract, we have six being the number of neutrons. Now, when we draw the structure of carbon, we have to use all these ones. Have to put a proton being big, use electrons being big, then neutrons being number, being big also, six in number. Now we we'll draw the number, we we'll draw the structure of carbon atom. Draw the structure of carbon atom. Then, the energy level, now these are the energy levels that have to be covered by the electron. The first energy level will only occupy two electrons. The remaining four electrons will be occupied by the second energy level. Now, we indicate the number of electrons at the first energy level, which only holds a maximum of two. So, we draw the energy levels which are put, which are, which also, which, which they are the, which holds these electrons. Now, the energy levels will be discussed later to know the number of, the number of electrons that is carried by each energy level. But now, this is the surrounding, this is the surrounding, this is the area that is surrounding the nucleus, this is the area that is surrounding the nucleus, the fifth region surrounding the nucleus. Now, the nucleus is at the center. The region now surrounding the center is what we are calling energy level or orbitals, which will be discussed later. Now, inside here, we will indicate the number of protons. One, two, Then we indicate the number of neutrons. One, two, three, four, five, and six. You have indicated these ones as protons with a positive charge. We have neutron with no charge. Then now with this, the region surrounding the center or the nucleus is where we indicate the electrons being in energy levels or what we call orbitals. Because there are six and the first energy level will only hold a maximum of two, a maximum of two, With a negative charge, the remaining energy level will hold the remaining number of electrons. So this is electron. So for us to do the structure of any atom. You have first draw the atomic number, then that atomic number will help us to know the number of protons and electrons, then we will know the mass number, which will later know how to, which will later discuss how to calculate them to know how they are all, how we come about those numbers. So that's the structure of a carbon atom structure of carbon atom. Remember the first structure was just a general structure? It was just a general structure. Then now, in this topic of atomic structure and periodic table, we deal with a number of elements. We deal with a number of elements. So, we deal with the first 20 elements. Where you have to know the name of the element, 
the symbol of the element, the symbol of the element, the proton number, which is the same as atomic number, number of electrons, number of neutrons, then the mass number. So we will discuss the first 20 elements and in order which will be our point of focus in the entire topic. In the entire topic, we have those 20 elements that we'll be dealing with. Remember, we are only dealing with the structure of an atom. Now, the structure of an atom, we have different elements that we have already structures. Now, we have to first we have to discuss the first 20, 20 elements. The first 20, first 20 elements. First 20 elements of the periodic table. The first 20 elements. Now the first element that we begin with, first element that we begin with is hydrogen. Keep in mind that in form one we just learned how to how to derive the the, the the symbol of different elements, symbols of different elements and compounds. But now here we are narrowing it down to the first 20 elements. Where the first element we have is hydrogen. The first element is hydrogen. as an element then we have the symbol this symbol will help us in writing the chemical equations where we will not use the name in quotes but we will we'll only use the we'll only use the symbol hydrogen its symbol is h Then the second element is helium. The second element is helium. Helium is He. Remember, when we are writing the chemical symbol of this element, where you have more than one letter, the second letter has a small letter. It's a small letter. Then the third, you have lithium, which is Li, which is Li. We have beryllium, number four. How beryllium? Number five, we have boron. The symbol is B. Boron is B. Then number six, we have carbon. The symbol is C. Number seven, we have nitrogen. have nitrogen, we have nitrogen, the symbol is N. Number eight, we have oxygen, the symbol for oxygen is O. Number nine, we have fluorine. Number nine, we have fluorine. The symbol is N. Then number ten, 
we have neon. We have neon. The symbol is N E. Have the element. We have the symbol. Number eleven. Number eleven. We have sodium. The symbol is N A. Number twelve. We have magnesium. The symbol is M G. Thirteen. Thirteen. We have aluminium. We have aluminium. The symbol is A N. Fourteen. Fourteen. We have silicon. We have silicon. Where the symbol is S I. Number fifteen. Fifteen. We have phosphorus. Have phosphorus. Phosphorus. The symbol is P. Phosphorus symbol is P. Then we have sulfur. As we all know, that is C. Sulfur. Number sixteen. The symbol is S. Seventeen. We have fluorine. Fluorine number seventeen. The symbol is E L. Eighteen. We have argon. Eighteen. We have argon. The symbol is A R. Then nineteen. We have the potassium. The symbol is K. Then number twenty. We have calcium. The symbol is C A. Now those are the first twenty elements of periodic table that we'll be tackling. That will be writing their structures. That it will, will be examined. That's the that's what will be handled. So we say that hydrogen is H, helium H two, lithium L R, beryllium B E, boron B, carbon C, nitrogen is N. Oxygen is O, chlorine is F, neon is Ne, sodium is Na, magnesium Mg, aluminium Al, silicon Si, phosphorus P, sulfur S, chlorine Cl, argon Ar, potassium K, then calcium Ca. Those are the first twenty elements that we'll be dealing with. Now, now what to, the number? Because hydrogen is atomic number one. Hydrogen is atomic number one. From one to twenty, the number that each element takes there is the atomic number. Hydrogen being atomic number one, helium number two, lithium number three, number four beryllium, number five boron, six carbon, seven nitrogen, eight oxygen, nine chlorine, ten neon. 11 sodium magnesium number 12 aluminium 13 14 silicon phosphorus 15 16 sulfur 17 chlorine 18 argon 19 potassium 20 calcium now these are the number of protons for each and every element then remember that the number of protons is the atomic number which is the which is the same number of electrons in each element 
For those elements, we say that we have the number of neutrons. Now, the number of neutrons, number of neutrons, we say that uh, neutrons together with the together with the proton, they'll give us the mass number. Now, because we have here the atomic number, which is the same as the number of protons, the same number is the number of electrons. Now, the difference comes in the number of neutrons. Where when we sum them together with the number of protons, it will give us the mass number. Now, let me, now those being the number of the number of protons or the atomic number for each and every element in that. Now in our next lesson we'll be looking at the mass number, the number of the neutron, how to calculate them, how to come up with them, and how we even write the symbol bearing the mass number, the atomic number, will be the work of the next lesson. Now just a recap of what we have learned today. We started this topic, atomic structure and the periodic table, where we focused on the atomic structure. So we said that atom is the smallest part of an element that can take part in a chemical reaction. Not any other reaction, but a chemical reaction. Then we say that we have some atomic particles, we will say there are three, we have protons, electrons, and neutrons. Then we gave characteristics of each of the three subatomic particles. We say that we have protons, which are positively charged, they are found in the center of the, of the atom, center of the atom, which is called the nucleus, then they have a relative mass of one, and the number of protons is what is called of an element is called is, is what is what is called atomic number. Then we had the electron, they are negatively charged. They are found in the six regions surrounding the center, which is the nucleus. Then these surrounding regions they are called electrons or the orbitals. So we say that the electrons are found in the six regions surrounding the center where the center we call it nucleus, then the, 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 those surrounding regions, those six surrounding regions, those regions surrounding the center, we are calling them orbitals or the energy levels. Then the mass number for these electrons is one over 1840. Then the number of protons is equal to the number of electrons in an atom of an element. Then for the, nu nu for the neutrons, which is also subatomic particle, we say that it is neither positive nor, 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 nor negative, where it is neutral. Like the proton is also found in the center, where the center we call it the nucleus. It also has a relative mass of one. And the number of protons together with the neutrons, they give us the mass number of an, of an element, mass number in an atom of an element. Now, we went further to discuss the structure of an atom, structure of an atom, where we say that in the structure at the center we have the neutrons and the protons, where we indicate the proton having a positive charge and the neutron lacking charge, having no charge, being neutral. Then the area surrounding now the center is where we indicate the electron with a, with a negative charge. Then we went further to look at the first 20 elements of the periodic table, where we had hydrogen being number one, helium number two, sorry, hydrogen number one, helium number two, lithium number three, beryllium number four, boron number five, carbon number six, nitrogen number seven, number eight, oxygen, number nine, fluorine, number 10, neon, 11, you have sodium, 12, you have magnesium, 13, aluminium, 14, silicon, Phosphorus number 15, 16 we had sulfur, chlorine 17. So our, our last thing that we looked at is the first 20 elements of the periodic table, where we looked at the first 20. Hydrogen being number one with the symbol of capital H. Then we had helium, 
we bin number two with a symbol of A, capital A, with a small letter E, bin number two. Lithium number three with symbol of capital L and small r. We have beryllium, capital B, and small e. We have boron, which only has capital B. We have carbon being number six with capital C. Nitrogen number seven with capital L. Oxygen number eight with capital O. We have the fluorine being number nine with the symbol of L, capital. Neon being number, neon being number 10, me number 10 with capital E, with capital L and small letter E. Sodium number 11 with NA, capital N and small A. Magnesium number 12 with capital M and small G. Aluminium number 13 with the symbol of AL, where A is capital and L is small. Then we have number, four, number 14, silicon, with capital S and small s and small i. Phosphorus number 15 with capital P. Sulfur number 16 with capital S. Then chlorine number 17 with a symbol of CL, capital C and small l. Argon number 18 with capital A and small r. Potassium coming at number 19 with capital K. Then calcium closing it with the first 20 elements with CA, capital C, and small a. Thank you for this lesson. In, the, in our next lesson, we'll, be, we'll begin from where we have left. Don't forget to like, subscribe. You can also share and leave a comment. And in case you want any lesson of your own concern, you can comment and we'll take your comments into consideration. Um, I have been your teacher, Mwalim Juma. Thank you.